so easy. In case you have any adjacent buildings that you want to bring in your energy model, you can totally do that. There's one more tool here, new shading surface group. Click on it and double click in this space, like bring the geometry. And you can see this is my adjacent building. And you can see it has totally different properties, like, you know, different color coding. So you know that uh, this is the shading device. There is a total, uh, like you can see the difference between the colors, like properties. If you go to inspector tool, you'll see your shading devices there, like shading, uh, let me just go through the shading devices. Uh, this, uh, where is that? I don't see it. Okay, it should be in subsurface somewhere here in these. Okay. So you can change the properties in these uh, sketcher interface easily. Or the next thing what you can do is move to open studio interface which that's what we'll do now so once i'm done with my sketchup interface i'm just going to click on this save open studio model tab or tool uh, close down this screen or either you can just keep it open and open the open studio main interface if you haven't looked at this interface ever that's how it looks like very easy as like all other tools you always start from top tab and then you keep finishing all the uh, inputs through each and every tab for example the first one is site let me just open my save model first it's on my desktop so i'm just going to open the same model in the first step you can see you need to provide the weather file and design days which i'm going to do it now set weather file uh, it should be on my c drive somewhere i can just bring energy plus files so again, like, you know, if you're not familiar with like, you know, what kind of energy, I'm sorry, what kind of weather files that you need to use, you can actually just Google it, energy plus weather file. And it will bring you to the energy plus website. It has like weather data for like, you know, different continents. For example, if you click on North and Central America and then US, you have file for almost each and every state and almost all the important locations. We work uh, on like multiple like um, international projects almost every day and th this website is very handy. The data is free of cost. It's amazing. Okay. Uh, you can always download it. Uh, I don't know if you looked at my chat messages, but in case you have any problem with energy plus documentation, in case you need to read through them, you can just use this like doc uh, link here. I'm just going to copy paste for you guys here in chat messages for everyone. And uh, yeah, that's very helpful here. Okay. So once you are done with like providing the weather file, uh, let's say like we we'll use for San Francisco, you also need to provide the design day file, which you don't do in eQuest. Okay. Uh, so um, before I ask any question, like, you know, do you have any, uh, like, you know, any like feedback for me or like, do you want me to explain some other things in SketchUp interface? Anyone? If no, let me explain you what a design day file does. Well, when you auto size your MEP systems, HVAC systems, you have to provide a design day weather file. Either you can hard size your systems, provide a capacity of let's say like 100,000 kBTUs per hour boiler or something, or you can ask your software to do the auto sizing for you. And that's what you do for your Azure 90.1 uh, uh, base models. So in case you need to do auto sizing, you just need to provide the design day file, click on it. In case you want to read more on them, you can just go back to the energy plus documentation and look into it. It gives you more information. And the next one is like, you know, the schedules. If I click on it, it has all those schedules. If you remember based on the template and the uh, building type that we generated on this step one. Again, these are very like, you know, generic schedule sets based on H uh, DOE reference buildings. You can easily change them. Uh, we don't have enough time to show you here, like how can we change, but it's very easy. Like you can just see like the, the hour, like the schedule is from zero to 24, which means 12 a.m. to 12 a.m. The frequency uh, or the properties are something like 0.4 from zero to 8 a.m. Then it suddenly goes up to like 90%. Uh, when people start uh, reaching to their offices then during lunch break the frequency goes down and so on okay it's very easy like you know very user-friendly you just need to use your 
uh, mouse or you can just provide the values directly for your uh, from your keyboard super friendly okay the next one is construction set we brought only one construction set based on 90.1 2010 for climate zone 4a and it has all the properties guys walls floors roofs everything so very important in case I need to make changes, I can just go here and make the changes in like, let's say thickness, density, connectivity, and all the changes will be there for you, okay? Then there are like, you know, loads, internal gains and everything, you can make changes there, like all the properties are based on SA 90.0 as I mentioned, and so on. And because we have very limited time, uh, like we have only 15 minutes left now, so I'm just going to install the HVAC system here. Uh, I'm just going to jump on HVAC system uh, tab here. And then uh, there are a couple of ways to like create the HVAC systems. Either you can create these templates uh, based on SG 90.1 uh, Appendix G, all those options, something like package roof unit, mm -hmm. package rooftop heat pump and all, VAV. When you click on these, it brings all the associated properties for you based on Appendix G. Or you can actually use another very important feature here, which is using the Open Studio measures. If I do create a, a, an HVAC system manually, it can take me like hours, really like, you know, creating air loops, creating uh, zonal equipments, providing thermostat settings, plant loops, chillers, pumps, to the properties, so many things, right? I mean, if you are an energy model, you know how much time does it take? But I can show you a very important Open Studio uh, feature here. You can run another, like, you know, script here in this main open studio interface click on these components and measures apply measure now save your energy model and it will take some time like you know and then it brings me a list of all the open studio measures that i have how can you download them these measures you can get it for free from andrel's website um, if you go to bcl andrel, andrel which is like building component library and go to like you know their main interface they have free 256 measures for you guys like you know there are so many measures i mean i don't have uh, i don't want to go through each and every but like for example in hvac systems you have so many of them like you know something like hey um oh let's just see some create something like vrf with dos chill beam with dos fan colony system replace hvac with water source heat pumps and so on so imagine if you have a system, something like, you know, DOS with fan colony system, it can take you almost half a day or maybe one day to create it, but you can just run this script and it will reduce your workload significantly. Also from Andrel, you can download different components, something like different kind of VR systems. You can see they are like different HVAC systems directly from the manufacturers. The manufacturers, they provide you all the properties for their systems. Let me just click on something before we move further. Uh, maybe let's say indoor units. So you can see these LG electronic units. They have all the properties based on the manufacturers. You need not to contact your manufacturers of your systems to bring all the properties, which is a huge headache for me as well. You need to download SpaceX and provide all those inputs in your model. You can reduce that like workload by just downloading all the properties directly from Anvil's building component library. So that's what we are going to do now. Uh, I, I got some more feedback. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to run a HVAC measure here, which will be like something like, let's say VRF with DOAS. Okay, that's fine. Or maybe like, you know, let's keep it simpler for now. Packet single zone, uh, heat pump to each zone. I'll do that. You can just tweak the properties. Okay, delete any existing HVAC component. COP for cooling, I'm, I'm just going to make it four. COP for heating, four. These are very like, you know, minimalistic property changes that you can do in Open Studio Measure. But you can make more changes later and I'll show you uh, this once we are done with this measure thing. Enable demand control ventilation, maybe yes. Want to select the fan time, maybe let's say variable volume. Fan pressure rise, I don't know. Um, I'm not good with these prop like, you know, values. So I'm just going to give, like, I'm just going to keep keep it blank so that it brings default properties they want to choose the affected zones by like you know space it's fine i'm just going to bring like space types which space type we have only one space type for now open office and 
standard of an office. So apply measure now, it will like, you know, run this script for me, will take some time, like maybe like 30 seconds or something. It will create all the A loops for you, all the terminal units for you. It will do so much work for you in milliseconds. So it is doing all the calculations. It is like, you know, running this script. So yeah. And meanwhile, I can take some more questions here. Oh my God, there's so many of them. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't think I can take all of them. I can see a huge list. So what we can do, we can just try to reach back to you through email or something, or I think uh, Bob is already taking care of them. So you can see like, you know, the initial condition here, the more, it means when you see this screen, first of all, it means measure work for you. The initial condition was that you had zero air loops, zero chiller prime, zero condenser. The final condition is you have 14 zones with like packet single zone H, H heat pump system with this much COP. Their 14 air loops now have demand control ventilation enabled. Accept changes. And because we created like uh, zonal terminal units, you won't see any uh, like uh, plant loops here or actually, yeah. So uh, if you go to thermal zones here, you can see each and every space have like zonal equipment, uh, which is packet single zone uh, heat pumps. If you want to make changes in the properties, if you want to refine them later, you can just go back to those air loops here, click on them. You can see uh, this is like air loop. It has this cooling uh, single speed DX coil, which you can like, you know, tweak later. You have one um, DX single speed heating coil, then electric coil, fan, you have some like, you know, set point controls. And then you have these spaces, like, you know, this is like thermal zone space 107. So it looks like, you know, uh, we have HVAC systems, we have internal gains. We are ready to run the simulation, okay? Again, as I mentioned, we won't be able to show you each and every feature here. I'm really sorry about this, but you can always reach back to us with questions and queries and we'll try to help us help you out. So for now, I'm just going to run this simulation here. Just like, you know, go to the second last tab to reach where you should go through each and every tab here. Please download this software. Please play around with this. If you are an energy plus or eQuest user, mostly you will understand like what this software is trying to communicate with you. So you'll be fine. Trust me. Okay. Once you are like, uh, like, you know, fine with each and every tab, just on the simulation, it might give me some errors because I have like skylights and in open studio, it doesn't bring you properties for skylight. It will definitely crash on. So uh, I already clicked run. So I don't want to stop it in between. It's just going to crash in maybe like next five or 10 seconds. I'll be fine. So it crashed on me. I knew it. So I'm just going to provide the properties for my uh, in my construction set, I need to provide properties for my uh, who is that skylight. You can see there's nothing in here. That's why it crashed on me. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to provide like, you know, some properties here to just run the simulation, maybe like a window for now and then run the simulation one more time. I hope it works this time. <laughs> and meanwhile, I can look into some questions. Uh, I can see like you know, a lot of people are asking for like webinars or something. Well, uh, I'm going to share a link with you guys. Like meanwhile, like, you know, it will be uploaded there. So as I, I mentioned initially through my chat windows, Bob and I, we are planning to create a new fresh web series for Open Studio. Uh, I'm going to give you the link here and uh, like, you know, it will have this recording as well as all the like, you know, feature, all the coming webinars. So Bob, meanwhile, I take care of this, uh, uh, this, um, this problem here. Like, you know, can you please uh, talk more on this simulate energy thing? Yeah, uh, we have a lot of questions, so I'm a bit uh, distracted here. But yes, uh, after speaking with Harshal and learning so much that I didn't know about Open Studio, even after I've completed a few models within the Open Studio interface, I realized that our existing training, I, I knew that was to get people started in a step-by-step -step completion model. We have that uh, on energymodels.com, but to adequately provide a more modern and time released program. We started a new website at simulate.energy and Herschel and I will be working on uh, creating live courses 
where we have more time so we don't have to rush and encounter certain bugs. Uh, uh, such as this. This happens pretty much any time you uh, present anything live uh, where the simulation will crash. So uh, we'll have longer time periods and uh, hopefully edit the videos when we post them. And so they'll be both live and posted at simulate.energy. We are also starting a blog there. And uh, Harshal, in addition to just teaching on Open Studio, has made a number of measures. Uh, he's made them for Enril, I believe, and he makes them for his personal use so that he can cut his time simulating or building a model in half. Uh, including troubleshooting and creating the lead baseline building automatically. So uh, he, he's a, a, a unbelievable source of information. And this is coming from myself, who's uh, who uses several uh, software packages. And uh, I, I have to say that, that I actually need him as a teacher as well. So uh, for what it's worth, Harshal, uh, I hear your uh, mouse clicking. So take it he's still working on that yeah guys anyone wants okay yeah so guys like you know i think like you know because i made so many changes and it happens as as um bob mentioned so what i'm going to do i'm just going to run something real quick for you guys it, it i need more time like than like five minutes or three minutes to fix these things when you like work online in front of people you make so many changes you bring like additional things just to demonstrate and sometimes like you know like you know model or your energy model doesn't like it really sorry about this but like you know it's crashing on me again but like you know it, it's like it's a bummer like you know i need more time to fix as i mentioned but like you know it works really uh there are like so many ways to uh troubleshoot you can see like you know it's missing some like control zones or something like you know it needs more attention than what i have given here so like you know uh and we have only one minute left wish we had more time to show you how to troubleshoot but like, you know, uh, I mean, I can explain you here, like, you know, you just go to the last, last result summary. It has like same kind of interface for results. What you see for uh, Energy Plus. Also, like Open Studio allows you to create your own customized report. Like, you know, you have all the uh, Open Studio uh, related results, something like your properties, like input properties, your outputs, your energy consumption, your peak demands, everything. Very nice detailed layout. So guys, like, you know, we have only one more minute left. So like, you know, again, please feel free to like use this tool. Like, you know, at least give it a shot. If you have any errors, something, don't hesitate to contact us. We'll like try to help you out as much as we can.